so we all know you're here today to learn to set up Google Apps. We're going to walk you through it. First thing you're going to want to do is go to Google's main web page, google.com. On the bottom, there's going to be a link for business solutions. Go ahead and click on that link. You're going to be brought to this page, showing several of Google's business solutions. The one that we're interested in today, of course, is Google Apps. So go ahead and click on that link. This will bring you to the Apps main page, and it shows you all of the products that are included in Google Apps. The center point of Google Apps, being email, is Gmail, of course. Also, the Google Calendar, Google Chat, Google Docs and Spreadsheets, and Google's website creator. These are all a part of Google Apps and all work collaboratively to allow you to share information online and enhance the presence of your business easily and cheaply. Let's go ahead and click Compare Editions and Sign Up. Google offers two packages for Google Apps, the first one being the Standard Edition, which is free for up to 200 users. The Standard Edition includes all of the basics that you're going to need. Things it don't, doesn't include are 24-hour, 7-day week tech support and the ability to write your own applications. For most people, this is not going to be necessary for you to pay for those. I highly recommend everybody uses the free edition to start up. If you feel like you want to pay for those options later, Google will allow you to upgrade your license without erasing any data or starting over. So let's go ahead and click sign up for the standard edition. There are two ways you can activate Google Apps for your website. If you already own your website, and you want to hook Google Apps email and calendaring solutions up to your existing website, you can do so right here. There's going to be some setup required. Your web provider may do it for you, or you may have to get under the hood and change a few settings. This differs for every type of web hosting, and Google does offer instructions on how to set up a lot of those different popular web hosting uh, settings to get everything working. If you don't already own a domain name, you can actually buy it right through Google. The prices are very low. and You can go ahead and search for your domain name right here. If it's available, it'll tell you. You can purchase it. And what's really nice about buying it through Google is that Google does all the hard work for you. All of the settings and everything is done for your domain name automatically so you can buy it and within minutes get up and running and get everything set up. For now, we're going to skip ahead to a Google Apps domain that I have already set up so we can start showing you the basic settings you'll need to do after you get it activated and we're going to show you how to use some of the basic features to get you uh, rolling in no time. Stay tuned.